What the fudge? Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. So honestly originally I was not planning on filming today but I told Adam that the next time that we get our monthly sushi I wanted to film a what I eat in a day and we decided that we're gonna go today. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through my day. It's actually pre-order week right now so I have a cookie business that I run out of my house and I do cookies and cake pops mainly and for holidays I do pre-orders. So it's a super busy time for me. I actually started early and rolled yesterday so I'm actually kind of ahead of schedule and I can be a little more laid back but Right now, I'm headed to the gym. I made myself some pre-workout. Usually, I only like to drink pre-workout on my leg days because I feel that's when I need some like extra energy and extra boost. But I'm feeling really tired today and a little sore. And I just put like a half scoop just to give me a little bit of caffeine. It'll taste really watered down, but I don't really care that much. I'm just packing up my bag to go to the gym. I also just got this from Fabletics. Uh, I have an account with them and I had so many credits that I needed to use up because I actually wanted to cancel my account. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. And this was one of them, this jacket, and it is... So cute, it's exactly what I wanted. And I'm actually one of those people that loves when they have thumb holes like this. So I'm excited to go wear this for the first time. I might show you guys the rest of the stuff I got later actually, because I haven't tried it on yet. It just came yesterday. So I want to try it all on and maybe I'll show you guys. But if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym. Today I have back and thighs, which I think that was actually what I showed in my last what I eat in a day. But that's just what workout I have today. I'm gonna kind of take it easy because I am feeling pretty sore, uh, but I do want to make sure I do abs and I might do some walking on the treadmill at an incline for a little bit but then after that I'm gonna head home probably work on some cookies I have a YouTube video to get edited to post today but we are going to get sushi too so I will keep you guys updated with everything I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym I'm actually gonna eat a banana right now for zero points and that's it I'm not really feeling that hungry I need like a protein bar or something like that but I'm just not feeling it right now so I'm gonna have a banana head to the gym and I will be back with breakfast Okay, so I just got done at the gym. I had a really good back and tricep workout, and then I walked at an incline for like 30 minutes, but I'm about to head home as Adam gets here. So we really are on just like different schedules when it comes to the gym. Sometimes, usually on the weekend, I feel like is when we go together, but uh, because I can't go as early because they don't open as early, I do try to get here earlier when I can. So he's going in right now. What are you doing today? Chest. He's doing chest. He had his basketball game last night, so he is feeling sore but they actually won in a crazy upset. They beat the other team 80 to 79. So it was a lot of fun for him. He did really well and he is feeling it today. So he's gonna take it easy. Then I'm gonna go home right now, take a quick shower, get ready, start editing my video. I might do some stuff with cookies for a little bit, but then we're gonna head and get sushi and then I'm gonna come back and work on cookies for the day. So I'll be back. Okay, so one thing I realized I never showed you guys was my poster in the WW studio. So we have one right by our house. It is so crazy. I pass it every day going to the gym and it just is the most unreal thing. It's from our New York photo shoot. So Adam and I flew out to New York for a photo shoot with WW in August. It was an amazing experience. We didn't know what would come of like the pictures and everything like that. And my picture from the shoot is hanging on the banner in all the studios all across the US. So it's been really exciting to see other people send me pictures with them. If you guys do get a picture with it at your studio or whatever, please, please send it to me on Instagram or you can even email it to me through my Instagram profile. I love seeing the pictures. It makes me so happy. We've been trying to go to a few other locations to see the posters and we've seen a couple of them but still it's just crazy that five minutes from my house there is a poster of me hanging up and it's just the coolest thing it's so crazy and Naomi who was also at the shoot with us her poster is also hanging so it's really cool to just see us and I actually the first day that I went by to go see it because I was driving to the gym and I kind of just looked over and saw it I went up after the gym and there were some workers in there and they actually asked me what I was doing I explained to them Adam was with me but we went inside they let me sign the poster and it was just so cool. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys my studio by my house, which I actually don't go into the studio. I just use the app for WW, but it's really cool to see. So let me show you. 
Okay, there I am. Okay, I see people in there, so I don't want to go up and take a picture of it, but that was a quick clip. And like I said, if you have a WW studio near you, check it out and let me know if you can find me. Okay, so I'm about to go take a quick shower. I made myself a protein shake. This is two points. I used a cup of cashew milk, a banana. I don't track the blended banana because I find that this is filling enough the same as if I would have just eaten the banana. But according to WW, you should track the blended fruit. But anyway, banana, some ice cubes, a scoop of Bloom Nutrition vanilla protein powder for one point and also filled up my water. So I just got this hydro jug. It's so cute. It even has my name on it. I love it. But this is stainless steel. It is 64 ounces. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of making it my goal to just drink one whole one of these in a day, but then also like have a bunch of extra water on the side. So like with every meal, I drink water uh, throughout the day. Sometimes I'll just like chug a quick glass of water just when I don't feel hydrated. But my thing is that I'm going to have to get this one done by the end of the day, no matter what. So 64 ounces, just filled it up and I'm going to go ahead and drink that today. But really quickly, I wanted to try on the stuff I got from Fabletics and I thought it would be fun to show you guys. I am really self-conscious about colored leggings and I've been trying to get better about them because they're so cute and I think that they look so cute on everyone else but myself and I just want to get better about it. So I ordered a few pairs. I have Fabletics so I pay for like the credits each month but then I always forget about it so they kind of add up. I need to just cancel it but then I'll lose my credits and so this time around I wanted to just use them all. I think I had five. So I got a good amount of stuff and I'm just gonna try it on and show you guys really quick. I thought that would be fun because you guys also really do inspire me to like step out of my comfort zone and try the colored leggings and the different outfits like that. So anyway, so what I like to do is kind of get the outfits because you get more for your credit or whatever. So I don't really know though because they came in separate packages. I don't know exactly what the outfits were. I wanna say the sweats came with this tank top and then these slippers. So I'll do this outfit first. I usually wear size 12 shoes or 11 and a half. These are 11s. Usually that's as high as slippers go up to. But honestly, since losing weight, I have been able to fit in more 11 shoes. My feet have gotten a little bit smaller, uh, but still sometimes I need 12s. So I'm gonna try these on and see, and I'll be back. Okay, so the slippers fit, first of all. I can't really show, but they fit and they're really comfy. Uh, the sweats are good. I was scared they'd be kind of see-through, but comfy. They're long enough. That's always what's important. I remember reading the reviews. People said that this tank top looks weird with bra straps, so I'm gonna have to figure something out with that, but I do like the color. I like the little green accent, not the hanger, but outfit number one. Okay, so next up, this bra, sports bra, is like kind of sparkly, if you can tell. So I was excited about that. Uh, these are just their plain black leggings, but I got them in tall, which is like always a bonus if they have that. Uh, so these are my favorite. I just wear these pretty much like every day if I'm wearing leggings, but I like the shiny sports bro. It's cute. Okay, the next thing looks ridiculous on the camera, but I got these like highlighter yellow leggings. For the WW shoot in New York, I tried a pair on. You can't even see them, they look so bright, but I tried a pair on and I really liked how they looked on. Even though they were so bright, it's not something I would usually wear, but I figured it would be something good if we go like walking at night or if I skate and it's kind of like dark out or something, which I don't usually do, but just in case, it'll be nice to have these because cars will definitely reflect off of them. But I think that, these are really comfy. They're kind of fitted a lot more than the black ones. I also got this black active top with it, which I, I do like this a lot actually. This will be nice and I have the same sports bra under it. You can kind of see it shining through, but yeah. Everything I got, I got in a size large and I don't know, I think these fit well. I actually really like these uh, leggings. And I think that actually this would be cute. So the jacket that I already wore to the gym today was something else that came with it. And I just feel like this will be a cute full outfit. Okay, so the last outfit, which like I said, I don't even know if I'm matching these together, how they came, but I think I got these in a long tall. So blue leggings, not something I would usually wear, but like I said, trying to get more comfortable with them. I really like the color actually, and I really like this tank top. It's got pads with it, and the back's a little weird, not like something I would wear, but I think it's really cute. So as you can see, 
It's kind of got this little crossover thing, which I keep thinking is just like the bra strap to pull up, but it's not. I don't know if this is something I'd be comfortable wearing to the gym, honestly, this tank top. Uh, it's kind of nice, I can scratch my back easy. But I do like the leggings, and like I said, I'm just trying to get more comfortable with these different outfits, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower. I'm happy with everything that I got, everything fits well. Like I said, everything I get is a size large and tall if I can get it. So I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll be back. So I just got done showering. I decided I wanted to eat something before we go get sushi. The protein shake was filling, but I also want to have some food. So I just made us some quick wraps. These are only two points for one of them. So I scrambled up three eggs. I just made one for me and one for Adam. So three eggs and then I split them between us. We each have three pieces of Canadian bacon from Sam's Club. I also threw some mushrooms with the eggs and then I used a wheat tomorrow wrap for each of us, which is one point. We're also gonna use some Ithaca salsa. This is really good. We've really been enjoying it. So we're gonna put some salsa on the wraps for zero points, track two points for breakfast, and then I'm gonna go start editing my video that I'm gonna be posting later today. Just work on it for a little bit and then we're gonna head to sushi. Okay, so I get the Las Vegas roll and so does Adam. Then I get the Angeline roll. And Adam got the Tuna Amazing roll. We also get some gyoza to split and then some rangoons. And Adam also added a jalapeno roll and I actually added a spicy tuna as well because we are hungry. <laughs> These are the gyoza, and I have three. I give him one of them, and then he gives me crab ragu, which has so much cream cheese, so <laughs> we got our lactate. <laughs> Halfway done so far. How is it? Good. You gonna, tell <laughs> so me, good. you gonna tell me about your new discovery? <laughs> Adam had me put a little wasabi in my soy sauce, and it's actually a really good kick. I love the flavor of it. It's just usually too spicy for me. Mine's gone. His is gone. Your whole wasabi? <laughs> oh my gosh, you could take some of mine. <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, so we just got done eating our sushi. We are so, so full right now. Yeah, that was like pushing it too far. We usually don't get the extra rolls that we did, like the extra spicy tuna I got and he got the jalapeno roll. Yeah. And that just like pushed us over the edge. Yeah. So super good though. We're gonna go ahead and track that as, what do we think, 40 today? We usually 45 maybe? 45. Yeah. Okay, we'll do 45 for that extra roll. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and track 45 points and then finish working on my video. We're heading home right now. I'm gonna finish up editing, then debating if I wanna make a coffee. I might have a coffee, and then I'm going to be basing cookies for a while. So I'm trying to get all of those done today, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I'm just finishing editing my video. Pluto's been keeping me company. And now I'm having an energy drink. This is one point on WW. The brand is 3D. It's candy punch flavor. This has become like my favorite energy drink. They also have strawberry lemonade. That's Adam's favorite. But for one can, it is 15 calories and like I said, one point. So I'm finishing this up, then I'm gonna go work on cookies. Okay, so yesterday I had extra chocolate that I wasn't gonna use up. And we also had some pretzels we haven't been using from Christmas. So I made like a little pretzel chocolate bark for Adam to take to work because I didn't want it to go to waste. <laughs> And I already gave him the cake to bring a couple days ago, so they're gonna be happy that they have more. But 
This is what I made and I actually filmed myself doing it. So I'll put that clip in right now, but I'm going to go ahead and break this up right now. I'm excited. This is going to be satisfying. I don't want it to crack before I actually like crack it, you know, <laughs> let's do it. You gonna track that? No, my mouth's blue too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's gonna bring that to work now, but that was just Ooh. for fun for me. I've been just trying to do more fun projects like that with baking stuff, so not a big deal. But people I'm gonna- my, People in my work like it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get started basing some cookies right now. We just watched my video for YouTube to get posted, so I'm gonna be just working on cookies. Okay, I thought it was filming and it wasn't, so I added the can of tomato sauce, the can of tomatoes, some garlic paste, some of this roasted garlic and herb seasoning, and some of this Flavor God Italian Zest seasoning. So I'm mad because I thought it was filming and I accidentally dumped like a good amount of the first seasoning in because I didn't use the right side, but I had to scoop some of it out. So this is my sauce. I just strained the noodles in the sink and I'm gonna go ahead and just add them back to this right now. Okay, so I've been working on cookies for a while and getting my video posted, but honestly, I have not been hungry at all. I was feeling really tired after sushi, which usually happens. And so I had that energy drink and it helped me a lot and I don't feel jittery or anything. So it was actually really helpful. So I haven't really been hungry at all. I was really full from lunch, obviously, and we actually got a little bit more than we normally do. So I think that's why I felt a little bit more full, but Anyway, held me over until dinner and now I am hungry and we make sure to have a good filling meal after we have sushi. We don't want to like deprive ourselves and try to like make up for the fact that we ate a lot of points or something. We do want to have a filling meal with some veggies. So I made us some spaghetti noodles. These are the protein plus. I used six points of those for us. I made the sauce with the can of tomatoes and can of tomato sauce and some seasonings. I breaded the chicken breast with some panko, added some mozzarella for two points. I tracked two points of panko for the amount that I use. And then I just roasted some asparagus with some olive oil spray and some seasoning. So this dinner comes out to 10 points total on WW. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna have my apple after and then I'll see where I'm at for the night. Okay, so dinner was really good. It was really filling. My apple was good. I really want to have yogurt now though. So I'm going to end my night with that and then be done for the night. I'm going to work on some cookies and then lay down. But I have my normal yogurt bowl. So I weighed out a two point serving of this vanilla Greek yogurt. I weighed out a two point serving of Kashi Golin Crunch cereal. So I just weighed out 20 grams, which is two points. And then put a good amount of blueberries, which these blueberries are perfect right now. They're so firm and they're so good. So anyway, four points for this. So... Ending the day, this is definitely one of my highest point what I eat in a days, but 
I used 64 dailies today. I had two for breakfast, 45 for lunch, 10 for dinner, and seven for snacks. So I did have to use a good amount of weeklies, but just goes to show that it's all about balance. I got right back on track with dinner and I'll be on track tomorrow. So I'm gonna get to work on some cookies. I'm gonna eat my yogurt and then I'll show you guys the order that I finish up at the end of this. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Okay, so this is the custom order I just finished up. It's just a birthday Fortnite order and usually during pre-orders, like I'm doing Valentine's pre-orders right now, I don't take custom orders, but this is for one of my best customers. It was a small order, so I really wanted to take it. So got this done quickly and now I am working on Valentine's cookies again.